My name is Alex. I'm from Florida. I've caught so many reptiles and amphibians and featured so many different animals that you can find here in Florida, right here on this channel. However, I've caught many different species of frogs and yet I've never managed to capture, film, and publish a video on this amazing species of frog, the leopard frog. It is a large species of frog. It's not the largest, but it's very unique looking. It's an aquatic species of frog that has really cool leopard spots on its back. I've watched this baby toad grow on my back porch. It comes up every couple nights to feast on the bugs that are attracted to the back porch light. And now it's actually larger than a leopard frog will ever get. I've captured a bullfrog that is the largest species of native frog here in North America. Just to give y'all an idea of scale of how big these puppies are. Oh, I'm really close to the camera too. <laughs> like, make me look super little. This, you gotta have Devo, and the highly invasive giant Cuban tree frogs that are now pretty prolific all throughout North Central Florida. Good job, and you didn't hurt him. That's a Cuban tree frog right there. What? Cuban tree frogs are the largest tree frog species that you can find in North America. Unfortunately, Cuban tree frogs are not native. This doesn't include all the small species of frogs I encounter pretty regularly. You know, green tree frogs and pickerel frogs and this really cool frog that's a tree frog called Hyla Lay eggs in the water. That I actually featured it on my raising and incubating a turtle egg video. But hey, enough rambling about all the different frogs here in Florida. This one is the one I want to feature here. Right here we have a large aquatic frog species. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, so this is a leopard frog. And you can see why they call them leopard frogs because of the spots on his back. Now, it is very similar in appearance to a pickerel frog. Pickerel frog is actually somewhat poisonous if ingested. This one is not. But what a cool frog species. Let's get him up here by my face so I can give him a kiss and see if he tastes like poison. Not too bad. Now you're going to turn into a beautiful, handsome prince. All right, let's let him go in the water. Come on, let's take him to the water. You ready? While I know like four video goes, I told you that I was working really hard on a big video or a big project, and I am. It's just taking longer than I expected. There's a lot of writing involved, and it literally encompasses many great aspects of my life and things you might be interested in. Unfortunately, I provided very little clues as to what this video will be about. I'll just say it's kind of like a treasure that I found that is now being featured in a museum. And I felt the story needed more depth to it. The story's grown and it's become more about a way of life than just the find we made. So I can't wait to share it with y'all and I really appreciate y'all's support. So if you would hit the like button, that really helps a lot and supports wildlife conservation as well as me, your favorite wildlife YouTuber, hopefully. I'll keep posting regular content until the big video is released. It should have a title, something to the effect of Treasures of the Tumu Cow. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time right here in the great outdoors. Peace. <laughs>